from the CCTV America's week-long look at alternative energy. All this week, we have been exploring the emerging markets technology that many say are key to our global energy future. But these new technologies need to be tested, such as facilities like Clemson University's Restoration Institute. They have the world's largest wind turbine testing facility and the first of its kind smart grid simulator. Ginger Vaughn takes us there. As demand for wind power grows worldwide, energy firms and developers see this wind turbine testing facility as the key to perfecting multi-million dollar investments before going to market. Wind in particular is very sustainable and the fuel is free, it's the same. You know what it's going to be today, tomorrow and next year. We can test devices built in the U.S. destined for foreign shores or we can test foreign components for foreign or foreign for here any direction of trade. The facility, launched by Clemson University Restoration Institute in Charleston, South Carolina, has transformed this old Navy shipyard into the world's largest wind turbine testing facility. It can test drivetrains for turbines up to 15 megawatts. Today's turbines typically range in size from 1.5 to 3 megawatts. The smart grid simulator is capable of modeling grid conditions anywhere in the world, simulating even the worst weather conditions key in improving prototypes for both onshore and offshore turbines. U.S. Deputy Secretary of Energy Daniel Poneman attended the launch, encouraging the push for testing cleaner energy and reiterating White House goals regarding a climate action plan. To cut carbon pollution, to adapt for those changes that the climate has already imposed upon us, and to lead the world into a cleaner, greener, and more prosperous future. This is cutting edge. Uh, this goes beyond what I've seen before. Engineers say increasing reliability and reducing risk through extensive testing of wind turbines is what companies are asking for. General Electric announced that it will be the first client to use the facility for extensive testing. The important part of testing is to do it before you ship a lot of product. So one of the early problems in the wind industry was they put up a lot of wind turbines without really testing them. When something went wrong, they'd have a thousand of them have a problem. Instead of finding it on one test part, it saves hundreds of millions of dollars. The facility is a result of a $45 million grant from the U.S. Department of Energy and matched by more than $50 million in public and private funds. Ginger Vaughn, CCTV, Charleston, South Carolina.